notions a bit. So let me save you some headaches by showing you the nine features that most business owners don't know that Notion has. And we're gonna do it in three different levels. Three features that beginners should know, three features that operators should know, and three features that architects should know. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, I'm Daniel. I've been a Notion certified consultant since 2021, and I have helped more than 70 businesses systemize and automate their businesses in Notion. Welcome. Okay, the first one is that you can format any page with only using your keyboard. For example, we have a page like this one, and I will want this to be a title. If you were not a pro, what you will do, you will come here, turn into heading one. Okay, cool. I just spent five seconds doing something. But what if I tell you that you can only do command option one to get the same result, command option two or three or four, it's a different one, five is a different one, six different one, seven different one, eight different one, nine different one, eight and zero, oh, text. This is the fastest way to format pages in Notion. Feature number two, how to find lost pages inside of Notion. Well, in Notion, there is a little bit of a hidden feature over here that says search. This will allow you to search and find pages within your Notion workspace. When I show this to clients, they're a little bit shocked because they didn't know that this was possible because as I said, it's a little bit hidden. But there is also an even easier way to do this. You can do command P and you will invoke the same and you can do command K and you will exactly do the same. I find this particularly useful to find pages that you don't use very often, like my recipe for lentils, which is over here. Third, a very easy filter that allows you to create the easiest and simplest task manager. Let's say that I have a task management database like this one with all the different to-dos that everybody inside of the company has. But what could I do if I want to see only my tasks? What I will do is to create a view called my tasks and I can filter it by assignee is me. And therefore, if I am Daniel and I'm logged with this Notion account, the only tasks that I'm going to see are this one. This means that this My Tasks view can be used by everyone on their team and everyone will only see their tasks. So with just one view, we have allowed the whole team to see what they need to get done. Okay, so now we get into the second level, the operator territory. Now, let's say that we have the typical system of having tasks, projects, and resources. And we want to have a centralized view for everything that relates to a project, because a project can have tasks and can have resources. So let me show you the easiest way to get that done. We have this project over here, which if we open it, is linked to all these resources and all these tasks, but this is not a very user-friendly way to see each of them, because I cannot see any other property for these ones. So what I can do is to come here to customize layout and select the page structure tabbed. So now there is a plus icon that was not here before. I can just click there and I will find these two relations that I have. For these relations to appear, their relation property have to be two ways, meaning that this task relation appears in the projects and in the tasks, we have the projects relation. So it's a two way sync. So we can click here select tasks, and this will give us all the tasks that are linked to this particular project. Then of course we can resize, we can hide, we can even filter, and we can select which properties we want to see. Then we, we can do exactly the same for the resources, apply it to all pages, and that will be it. Here we have our content, here we have our little dashboard for all the tasks, and here we have our little resources area for this particular project. So now if you keep building your projects database, you may come to a situation like this one where you have a lot of different properties and it's very hard to find information within it. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to make sense of all this data. We're gonna go back to customize layout. We're gonna click on this area and here we can add sections. So let's say that we want to add a general section and then we can create subsections, for example, financials. I always recommend to, to have emojis so they are more visually appealing. And then all the financial properties we can put inside of this property group. And we'll do the same for the rest of the properties. So at the end, 
what we are going to have is a list of grouped properties that we can even toggle. And this makes it so much easier to find information when we have a lot of properties within a database. But now let's say that everybody in the team is using the same tasks database, but you want to use this database for for your dentist appointment that is due tomorrow. And you don't want people to actually see this database. Well, right now, everybody will have access to it, but we can change it. We can make it so only the assignee of a task can see that task. For that, we will open the database as a full page. We will click on the share button on the very top and we have this page level access. We can click here. We have to have a person property, of course. I can say that the assignee can edit the tasks. And then, of course, I will have to revoke access to everybody. So the only access that they get is through the page level access. And that is it. My tasks will only be mine to see. OK, now we get into the architect features, those features that only the real pros of Notion know about. So let's say that we have this project over here with the revenue, budget, hourly rates, and all these financial data that typically is something that is quite sensitive. And maybe we want that this data is only accessible to the CEO, to partners, or C-suite people. If they get access to this database as a whole, or even to this page, since these are number properties, they will be able to see it, everybody. So how can I make it so people have access to this page, but they do not see the numbers inside of here. Well, we can create an extra database, hold the data there, and then show it here with rollups. Let me show you. I'm going to come below, create a new database. We're going to call it financial data. I'm going to relate it to the projects. And then let's see which data we don't want anybody to have. Okay, let's say that we don't want people to have their revenue. So I'm going to create a property here called revenue. Okay, revenue for this project is 90,000. So I'm going to create one record. We can call it data, it doesn't matter. This is going to be 90,000. I'm going to edit it so it's zeros. And now I'm going to link it to the project. So the thing here is that only me, the CEO, for example, is going to have access to this database. But then everybody in the team is going to have access to the project's database. So if we open it, then we can change this from number property into a rollup. We are going to take the information from the financial data and it's the revenue that we want to see. So for me, this data is exactly the same, but only me can see it because only I have access to the data within this database. And now to make it easy for me to change this, what I can do is customize layout, click on the plus financial data. And then here I have all the financial data so I can easily come here and edit it. It is true that it's a little bit harder to edit because I have to come here and edit it here. But well, this is the only technical way that we can make it so only me have access to this particular property. Now, another feature. If you're using Notion in a business setting, probably you use more tools than Notion. For example, you may get paid with using Stripe. You may want to send contracts using DocuSign. You even may have another CRM like Salesforce, like Go High Level, like you may be using other tools. So Notion can actually connect with every one of those tools. How? Well, by using webhooks. And for that, we're going to have to use tools like make.com that have integrations with thousands and thousands of apps, tools like Zapier or tools like AnyDem. And basically, you will be able to send all this information to any tool that they have an integration with or any tool on the Internet that have an API connection, which means that they have opened the doors for other tools to connect with them. And the way to do this can be by either creating a button that sends information to Make or Sapier or NNN via what is called a webhook. So Make, when you create a webhook module, Make will give you a URL. And if you paste this URL and select Notion to send all the properties to this URL, whenever this button is clicked, all this data is gonna be sent to this URL. And then from here, you can connect with literally thousands and thousands of different tools and vice versa. Whenever something happened in any of those tools, you can update Notion accordingly. I have a lot of videos about automation in this channel, so feel free to check them out. Just search for automation and you will find them. And finally, one feature that a lot of people really don't know that it exists and is that we can standardize the way that 
our team members input data inside of our system. We do this typically through having forms within Notion, which we can create over here, new view, form, and we can start it from scratch. So let's say that this is the tasks database and we can call the form create new task. And here we can build the form. But something that people really don't know is that let's say that within your task management, you have different priorities. And depending on a priority, you have to fill some data or another. We can actually have logic within the form so we can actually achieve this. This also applies if you have different task types. For example, you have a bug type, you have a feature request type, you have an improvement type, or if you have different types of projects, if you have different uh, types of contacts, whether it's a company or a person, so you may have to fill different data. And in order to do this, we can come here and select the priority in this case and what I want is that whenever the priority is urgent I want that they give me more data so I will add a conditional logic and if this is urgent what I want is that they tell me why is it so urgent so if I preview it this is gonna be like this and when they click urgent then this is gonna show why it's so urgent I know that there is a lot more features that are hidden and that are useful, but these are the ones that whenever I show them to my clients, they are really shocked. If you've been using Notion for your business and need help setting it up and making the best out of it, contact me down below so we can see how can I be of help. That is it for this video, guys, and as always, hasta la próxima.